Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'll be setting up pop-ups in a React app with PostHog. Pop-ups are a great way to showcase different features in your site, and PostHog's JSON feature flag feature makes it super easy to set up, control, and customize these pop-ups. I'm going to show you how to do all of this in this video. So the first thing we're going to do here is create a React app, and we can do this by running npx create React app, and we're going to name it pop-ups. So this is going to take a little while to run and install and create all the files that we need. And once this is done, we can set up PostHog by going into the newly created pop-ups folder and running npm install posthog.js. Next, we need our PostHog project details. So we have a new project here and we can just click web and then we can copy this code here, the initialization of PostHog, and that includes our project key and our API host. And we can head back to our files here, go into the SRC folder, and then go into the index.js folder. And we'll paste this in here. Another thing we'll import is we'll import the PostHog provider. So PostHog provider, and that is from posthog.js slash react. And then we use this posthog initialization. We're gonna pass that to the posthog provider and this is going to be not value, but client. And then we're going to close that out there. And so this will pass the posthog client that we initialized here to the rest of the app. And we can save that and then we can run the app by going npm start. And then this will run the app locally and we can check out post-hog capturing events. So here we have the app. We can refresh the page a couple times. We can click the learn about React and then we can head back to our post-hog instance. We'll click continue. It will listen for events and successfully send events. We can continue there. And now we have post-hog set up and it's time to add the code for our pop-up. Back in our app, we could write the code to create a pop-up, but we've actually done that for you. So we're just going to get that code from GitHub. So the we're gonna run git clone, and then the link is https forward slash forward slash github.com slash posthog slash posthog prompts. So this will download some files that you can use to show a pop-up in your React app. So we'll clone these to the outer directory. And then in this code, we're gonna go into React SRC, and we're going to copy the pop-up.js file to our code. We're going to copy the pop-up CSS file to our code. And we're also going to copy the pop-up location file to our code. So once we have all that, we don't really need the postdoc prompts anymore. We can now set up the feature flag to actually control these prompts. Oh, before we do that, we need to import the prompts here. So we're going to just import pop-up from dot slash pop up, you see it here. And then we're just gonna add this below app here. So that adds the pop up component to our React app. So to show and control our pop up, we're gonna use a feature flag. Specifically, we're gonna use the JSON payload that feature flags have. So make sure to name your pop up or have the key of your pop up to start with pop up hyphen or pop up dash test and then we can set the rollout to 100% but you can also just set it to your email to start and just to test it before rolling out further and then the important part here is setting up the JSON payload so we're going to write the payload here it's also in the written version of this tutorial so it's going to include a title so learn postdoc a body Postog is cool. 
a primary button text. Go to postdoc, a primary button URL. So if you wanted to do something like a product tour, you could make this uh, primary button URL go to a different page, but for right now, we'll just keep it on the home page. And then a secondary button text. So this will be like the cancel text. And this is just going to say, got it. And then finally, we'll have a location. So we can use absolute location. So absolute bottom, absolute top, right, left. So we'll just choose location absolute bottom right and that's the code we want for controlling our pop-up we've set the rollout to 100 percent we're just going to click save on this and now this flag is enabled and we can go back to our code here go into the pop-ups folder again and then run npm start to start up our site again and now when we load our site you'll see that in the bottom right corner here we have our pop-up showing here with our link and our clear text as well as the text we set up in our feature flag if we go back to our pop-up and we edit this so we want to say absolute bottom left we can save this and then we can reload the page and you'll see it's moved to the bottom left. So this allows you to customize a pop-up very easily. Another nice thing we can do with our pop-up code that we've implemented is that we can make it a relative link. So we can attach it to, for example, this learn react button. So we'll go back to our code and you'll see in app.js, this button has a app link. So we can copy that class name and then we can use the CSS selector. So Back in our pop-up test here, we can change the location to relative, right? Oops, we need to edit this. We can change this to relative, right? And then we can set up the location CSS selector. And then we'll make this square brackets class equals and then we will paste in our class name that we have there and then close out those square brackets and then close out the quotes. And so we can save this. And when we go back to our React app, you'll see it's moved from the bottom left to the link here. So it's relatively positioned. So this can be also really great for product tours if you want to showcase specific buttons tell people to click on different things to go between different pages, onboarding, things like that. Once you've tested your pop-up and you've used it a couple of times, make sure to go back to your pop-up and go to release conditions and then search for your pop-up's name. So pop-up test is our name. And then make sure this equals, if you don't want it to show for users repeatedly, make sure this is not set. So this sets a person property if they've seen this value. So if we set this up and save this, it will not show to users who've already seen this pop up. And the last bonus piece for you here, you can actually use pop ups as an experiment. So to do this, we'll create an experiment called pop up. We'll make sure that our feature flag key this is the important part, is named pop-up experiment. It includes pop-up, that's kind of the important part. We'll keep everything else the same here. We'll launch this, and then to set up the actual values, you can go back to feature flags, and then go into pop-up experiments, and then edit this, and then we can set up uh, payloads for each of the variants. So if you wanted to test two different pop-ups to see how they do towards a goal, such as getting people to click to another page, you can set these up in here and then run your pop-ups as an experiment. And that's all for this video on how to set up 
pop-ups in a React app with Postdoc. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you want to see the written version of this tutorial or other tutorials like this, check out postdoc.com slash tutorials. Thanks for watching.